today I'm gonna show you how to fix this message. If you have a Mercedes and this message comes on your dashboard, you know, auxiliary battery malfunction, um, it means that your auxiliary battery is dead and you need to replace it. Nothing big, nothing major, nothing too difficult. It's just that having that on your dashboard, that error is gonna, basically the eco button is not functioning anymore. Um, so you basically lose some function but it's an easy fix and I'm gonna show you how to do that so on the W212 E-Class the battery is in the trunk I'm gonna show you where it is the auxiliary battery right okay we're gonna leave this we put it up here yeah and I have a lot of stuff here but that is the battery, there is the battery over there, okay? So all we have to do is replace it with a new battery. And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. I remove this screw, this screw over here, which is under the red thing. Okay, and this screw over here, over here, then we'll see. This comes up like that. Okay. We remove this thing from here. Okay, and we remove the battery. Okay. This is the battery. Okay, here you can find the codes from the battery. The power and everything you need. You don't necessarily need to buy a Mercedes battery. This is the original one. Uh, you can buy any type of battery that matches this description here. I'm gonna show you what kind of battery I got. Okay, this is the battery I got. Oh, okay. See? You got a positive here, like this one. You got a negative, like this one. Let's see here. So, we're gonna put a new battery in right now. Okay, make sure to connect this drain thing over there back in the place. Okay, we're gonna secure it in place with that. Put the nut back in place. If you get the same battery I got, uh, make sure you're gonna put these leads on. Doesn't really matter, but you know, it's good to use them if you still have them. And that plus over there is basically the cars factory one. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, now we're gonna go inside and check if the air comes back again or not. Okay, so let's turn the car back on. Wait and see if the message comes back again. If it does come back, it should come in like a few seconds. If not, it means that's fine. And it's not gonna come. What you can do to check it is basically just put it in the drive and push the brake. See, auto hold is in place. So, we're all good. I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you do, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Have a good day.